when faith seems weak, remind yourself of His unfailing love, faithfulness, and power. Hebrews chapter 4, verses 9 to 10. There remains therefore a rest for the people of God. For he who has entered his rest has himself also seized from his works as God did from his. In Hebrews chapter 4, we have a, a, a very interesting parallel drawn for us. But the writer of Hebrews compares the entering in of God's people into the land of Canaan with us entering into a place of rest. Now, when God's people entered into the land of Canaan based on the promise of God, it was a place where they had to fight battles, where they had to go conquer territory, where they had to face their enemies. So in one sense, it was not a place of rest. It was a place of battle. They had to conquer and possess the land God had promised. But here, the writer of Hebrews is telling us, for us, it's a place of rest. It's a place where we seize from our own works. But the implication is that now we let God enable us to conquer our enemies. It is we now let God help us possess what he says is ours. So we are really contending or we're really fighting from a place of rest. Now, how do we apply this in everyday life? You know, when we come in those moments when our faith seems weak, we must learn to rest in God. Learn to come to a place where you say, God, no matter what's happening around me, I know one thing. Your love is unfailing. Your power is unchanging. And your faithfulness is always steadfast. That who you are has not changed. So I come in that place of rest, resting in who God is to me. You know, that is so important because when we learn to rest that way in God, then we can fight out of a place of rest. Then we can get back into a place of strength and faith and fight. You know, we must understand something about God. As that God is too good to do us wrong. God is too wise to make a mistake. God is too strong to let us down. That is who our God is. And we must learn to rest in that. When we rest in who He is, even when our faith seems to weaken, we will be strengthened. We will be able to get back on our feet in that place of rest. We learn to rest in His love. And this is what the Apostle Paul teaches us in Romans the 8th chapter, when he tells us, you know, God's love for us. Nothing can separate us from that love. There is no, no situation on earth, neither famine or nakedness, nor sword. Or, there's nothing that we face on earth that can separate us from the love that God has for us. And he says, and because of that, we are more than conquerors. That means because of God's steadfast, unfailing love for us, we can overcome anything here on earth. So when your faith seems to weaken, learn to rest in God, in who He is. Let's pray. Father, we thank You for who You are, for Your unfailing love, for Your unshakable power, Your unchangeable goodness to us. Father, we pray that You will help us rest in that love. And I pray for those listening, God. If there are people who seem to be weakening in their faith, I pray you'll help them to come out of this place of rest so that out of that place of rest, they can then fight the fight of faith. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.